Good morning. Let us see today determination of molar mass of polymer. By using osmotic pressure method or osmotic method, osmometry method. Okay. Osmometry method, osmometry is based on the measurement of osmotic pressure of polymer solution or macro molecule. Osmo what is osmotic pressure? Osmotic pressure is one of the colligative properties. We have studied earlier osmotic pressure, isotonic solution, hypertonic solution, osmosis, what is reverse osmosis. Please watch and listen uh, osmotic pressure in colligative properties. I have already described everything about osmotic pressure. Now, osmotic pressure is the only colligative property useful for studying the macromolecules or polymers and also useful for the determination of molar mass of polymer. Now, what is the reason? Why? There are uh, dip depression of freezing point, elevation of boiling point. These are also colligative properties, but they are not uh, widely used. Because the changes in osmotic pressure, because osmotic pressure changes very much. The changes are larger than elevation of boiling point and depression of freezing point. Therefore, the change in osmotic pressure is accurately measured, whereas the decrease, the decrease in freezing point, the elevation of boiling point are very very small, cannot be measured accurately, therefore the molecular masses of polymers cannot be determined by measuring elevation of boiling point or depression of freezing point. Another useful point is that for small molecules, it is very very difficult to find them impermeable, semi-permeable membranes. Because, whereas for macromolecules, polymers, it is easy to get a yes, impermeable membrane. Because uh, in, osmos in osmosis, only there is a flow of solvent, there is a flow of solvent from high concentration to low concentration due to diffusion. Now, we have already studied for dilute polymer solution, ideal solution, 5D is equal to NRT. We have studied even in plus 2. For dilute ideal polymer solution, 5D is equal to NRT, where 5 is the osmotic pressure, V is the volume of the solution, N is the number of moles of polymer dissolved in, in it, R is the universal gas constant, T is the temperature. Where N equal to W bar, weight by molar mass. Weight by molar mass gives the number of moles dissolved in it. Now, for substituting W by M here and V here, W by V, W by V is the weight mass concentration of polymer. W by V is called mass concentration of polymer solution. That is, the weight of the polymer per unit volume, the weight of the polymer dissolved per unit volume, that is equal to V, C. Okay, therefore, pi equal to C or C. Now, Pi by C equal to RT by M. The Pi by C is called reduced osmotic pressure. The pi by C is called reduced osmotic pressure. This is related to this is related to molar mass of the macromolecule. That is very important. This relationship is very important. But for concentrated polymer solution, this equation cannot be applied. For concentrated polymer solution, this equation cannot be applied, this is for only very very dilute solution. Therefore, the real expression is used for obtaining the reduced osmotic pressure, I by C equal to RT by M, 1 plus A1C plus A2C square, etc. Okay, where A1 and A2, this expression is called the real expression or also called Van Gogh equation. This equation is called Van Gogh equation and A1, A2, B1, B2 are virial coefficients, virial coefficients. Now, let us multiply RT by M inside. Okay, now this will be this. For a given polymer solution, for a given polymer solution, for a given polymer solution of concentration C at constant temperature, R is constant, T is constant, molar mass, number added molar mass is also constant. 
Therefore, when you multiply R C M A one, it will give B one C, and R C M A two will give B two C square, etc. Okay. Now, ne neglecting B two B three terms, the higher order terms, neglecting the higher order terms because the concentration we have used is very very low because the concentration we have used is very very low. For example, zero point not one, zero point not one square will be then ten power minus four. 0.10 power minus 6. Therefore, these terms are neglected. These terms are neglected for, um, for intermediate dilute solutions. Therefore, this equation is reduced to I by C equal to R T by M in one C. This is a straight line equation. This equation is a straight line equation. Y equal to M X plus C. Therefore, on plotting, a graph is plotted. Between pi by c, this is called reduced uh, osmotic pressure. The osmotic pressure per unit concentration. What is the reduced osmotic pressure? The reduced osmotic pressure is the osmotic pressure per unit concentration of the polymer solution. Okay. Therefore, pi by c equal to R t by m p one c. The graph is plotted between The reduced osmotic pressure versus concentration of the polymer solution with increasing concentration of the polymer solution. A straight line is obtained. A straight line is obtained. Okay. On extrapolating the line, the, the straight line is extrapolated to meet the y-axis. To meet the y-axis to obtain pi by c, that is concentration tends to zero. Pi by c is reduced to the, the osmotic. Reduced osmotic pressure, then the concentration becomes zero. When the concentration is pi by c tends to zero, this is pi by c tends to zero. Equal to this is zero. Therefore, R T by M. R T by M. From the graph, from the graph, pi by c tends to zero is obtained. Therefore, R and T are constant. M can be calculated by substituting. The reduced to pressure when the concentration tends to zero and gas constant temperature, the molar mass is calculated. Okay, it is very very important for the determination of molar mass of polymers. Thank you for watching.